today we are going to be making pozole, my favorite Mexican soup. Let's go ahead and make it. We're going to start with boiling the chicken. I have a pot with water in it. And if you love flavor, I recommend you add celery, a quarter of an onion, three garlics. I'll put these into the boiling water. And we're going to season our water with sea salt. We'll let the water come to a boil and then we'll add the chicken. Mmm. The aroma is good. Our chicken is gonna be good, okay? I will be using three chicken breasts. I will wash them with apple cider vinegar. And I'm just gonna clean it. Wash it, you know, give it a good little massage. I'm gonna put these in the, in the water as I go. You guys see that foam? We don't want that. That's a mixture of blood, fat. It's just not a good look. So we're gonna take the foam out. Now we are going to boil the hominy. I have a hot pot with water. We are going to be seasoning our hominy with a whole onion, two whole garlic cloves, four bay leaves, and salt to your liking. I am going to wait for the boiling water to boil. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the water to boil. While I am waiting, I am gonna wash the hominy. We're gonna wash it with water till the water comes out clean. Once it's like clean, there's no like yellowness in the water, we will put it in the boiling water. Dump the water first. In a bowl, we're just gonna place the hominy. And now we're just gonna clean it. You know, we're gonna wash it. So now you guys see how the water is uh, white, a little dirty. We're gonna clean it out. And we're just gonna keep on rinsing it, dumping the water out. And we're gonna repeat this step until we get clear water. So little by little, the water isn't as white as it was the first time. But you know, we want clear water. So, I'm gonna use a strainer oh. to dump it. Okay, and repeat. Okay, and we'll repeat until the water comes out clear. Tommy is washed. We're gonna walk it to boiling water. We're just gonna dump it. Okay, and my burner is on medium high. And we're gonna add the onion, a whole onion, two sliced garlics. Then we're gonna cover it. And wait for the hominy to cook in about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, we'll check it. For the salsa, we are going to be using chile guajillos and chile puyas. We are using 12 chile guajillos, about seven chile puyas. The hami has been cooking for about 45 minutes. We have the chile guajillos and the chile puya here, and we are going to boil them for 20 minutes. Let them soften a bit for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're gonna add our chiles to our blender. Then we'll be using three quarters of a full onion. It looks about as much as I want. Six garlic, a large pinch of oregano. Add some salt, a generous amount. The water we use to boil the chiles, about one and a half cup. And we'll go ahead and add more water. Now we'll stir fry a bit of canola oil and we'll be using a mesh strainer. We just want to extract the juice from the chiles. You don't want to be spitting out peppers like and you obviously do not want peppers on your teeth. So that's why we're straining it. Keep straining until you strained all the sauce. Thank <laughs> you. 
we'll cook it for 20 minutes. After about 20 minutes, the sauce has been stir fried. The honey has been cooking for an hour and 45 minutes. What we are going to do, take off the garlics. We'll be taking out the onions as well. So we're gonna add the chicken, the shredded chicken into pot with the hominy. Okay, we'll give it a stir. This probably needs more water. This is what my pot looks like. I feel like it needs a little bit more water. So we are going to add more water to it. And if you're gonna be adding more water, make sure it's warm water, hot water. Okay, I think that's better. First we'll be adding four bay leaves. We're gonna be adding salt, a generous amount of salt. Little by little, we'll be adding our sauce into the pot. By little, we'll be adding the sauce. Salt. Where's the cornbread at? <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of it is. <laughs> That's funny. Now that we've poured the sauce into the boiling pot with honey in it, we're gonna give it 30 minutes so flavors can incorporate together. And after that, we will assemble and you know, we'll eat. I usually like to have pozole with avocado and chips, like santita chip. Let me confess that I am assembling the plates like a week filmed the pozole video. I'm out of the avocado, I'm out of the I'm out of the chips. Next time I make pozole, I will make sure to assemble it properly for you guys. Shout out to Jaja Cocina Mexicana. This is her recipe. So shout out to you, Jaja. If you like this recipe, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, hello, signing out.